we have a, a small announcement. Well, it's actually pretty big in terms of the number. Um, but we have an opportunity to change the course of our future, to take part in the victory that God is calling Upper Room Forest Lake Church to in this very moment where things have not gone as planned for us. We never intended to go every week, at least now. And here we are. And it's amazing. It's awesome. We have, we have no regrets for it. But we have the opportunity. Just this past week, Pastor Mark was having a conversation with an individual who um, has decided to remain anonymous. You could be in this room. I have no idea who you are. They have committed to matching our fundraising project. They have committed $100,000. They will match up to $100,000 if we can match that as well. And just here in a second, we're going to have some of these buckets going around and it's time for offering. But this was something unexpected and, and not planned at all. And it's, it's good news, I would say. But how do we practice our fearless faith in our church and what God has planned this is an opportunity for us to move a lot faster than we ever thought. When this pandemic hit, we thought, man, our fundraising for Upper Room and, and or the warehouse project, it's going to take a lot longer. And people have stepped up generously. And this is an opportunity where the donor has said, I will let match as much up to $100,000. So you're going to hear a lot more of that. We're going to push. Our goal is to, to have at $100,000 by the end of the year so that we can match it and double. So think whatever you give, it's going to get doubled. So I don't know what your level of generosity, what your situation is like, but this is an opportunity to maximize that giving. And I want to make one thing clear. Upper Room is not a youth church. It's not a young adult church. It's not the, the thing that the youth are doing. I've heard that a lot. It's like, oh, that service, that's for the young kids. The cool thing is it's, it's being produced, it's being done, it's being driven by young people, but it's for everybody. This warehouse, it's not just for youth. And that's been the fault in our thinking with even ministries where we have to just set aside, bracket ourselves in our own individual age groups where heaven will not be like that. We're not gonna have high school in their own area allegiance in their own area. God's calling us to worship together. We ain't going to have white churches. We ain't going to have black churches. We're going to worship together. And that's part of our vision for the Warehouse Project is that we come together as a people that God has called us to be. And when we're united, we're that much stronger.